and welcome to Celebrating Excellence. For the last 30 years, St. Lucia has celebrated its two Nobel laureates, Sir William Arthur Lewis and Sir Derek Alton Walcott. The theme for the festival in 2023 is Celebrating Excellence, Nurturing Our Creativity, Consolidating Our Legacy. Dr. Clarence Henry is a development economist and regional integration specialist. He tells us about Sir Arthur Lewis's impact on the field of economics. So one of the first things that we have to appreciate about um, Sir William Arthur Lewis, uh, St. Lucia Nobel Laureate, is that uh, he was one of the first development economists. Sir Arthur Lewis would have written during the 1950s and 60s and of course, um, throughout the years as well, beyond that. But during the time when he wrote, there was something specific happening. You had the emergence of um, several uh, countries um, that were coming out of the colonial era. And in looking at those countries' development status, um, and in trying to determine the path for development for these countries, it was very quickly realized that these countries could not be seen to be similar to developed countries. In fact, the countries that were once, you know, their mother country, so to speak. Um, they were not industrialized. They did not have the sort of natural resource endowment. They had high levels of poverty, unemployment. You know, their savings rate uh, was not significant. I mean, when you compare that to the realities of developed countries. And so Sir Arthur Lewis began making a contribution on what are the development, um, what are the development problematic, but more so the prerequisites for development in those um, new countries, um, new in independent countries, those countries that were once con considered to be third world countries, and today uh, typically referred to as developing countries. Arthur Lewis' prescription for economic development really still relevant today as such prescription would have been relevant 70 years ago. Why do I say that? I am saying this because uh, fundamentally to address our problems of low growth, um, low per capita income growth, and the broader development issues that we face with, you still need to address the channels for which economies grow. Which means that you need to still appreciate what are the fundamental challenges that faces an economy, prevents growth, um, slows down development. Again, it is along the lines of whether you have the resources to do so, the extent to which you have diversified your economy, right? the extent to which there is a degree of industrialization of the economic base. Because if you start talking about the economies that are doing well, one of the common characteristics is that they're very much diversified and have solid industrial base. These were Arthur Lewis prescriptions, so they're still relevant today. What it means for us to moving forward, because Caribbean economies cannot continue growing at 2% or less. Caribbean economies cannot continue to exist with high levels of unemployment, especially among um, the youth, where youth unemployment tends to be twice the average of the national rate of unemployment. Caribbean economies cannot continue to be uncompetitive in the global market. And so one of the prescriptions that I think uh, we, we need to go back to uh, very strongly um, is that of the advancement of regional integration. Regional integration provides that basis for addressing the small, smallness of our economies. It provides the basis for addressing the lack of resources we have. It provides the basis for industrialization because of the fact that it creates um, not just the sharing of resources but the larger market space for, for exporting those um, newly produced goods. Alpha Lewis was a, a, a promoter of regional integration on the basis that he really believed the uh, West Indies Federation, uh, which was established in 1958 and came to an ab abrupt end really in 1962, would have helped um, you know, catapult, if you like, the region's economic development. And when that failed, he, he thought, well, you know, why not the small um, colonies, um, the little eight that he made reference to, the OECS countries and Barbados, why don't they come together 
and become a, a regional grouping um, to create that prospect uh, for uh, benefiting from a larger um, market size and more pooling of resources. So Afluis was correct about that. Um, and I think uh, that fact remains today, despite the fact that, of course, you've had um, uh, the COVID challenge, uh, despite the fact that uh, we, we still have much to do in, in implementing regional integration initiatives, that doesn't change the reality that you still need to go back to regional integration. And I think Sir Af Lewis um, ultimately uh, remains the, you know, one of the most accomplished uh, development economists in the world. And, um, you know, we have to move to, from the, from the standpoint of just talking and celebrating Sir Af Lewis and actually implementing what he has prescribed for us to move forward. I think Sir Af Lewis would, would be very happy. You know, I guess you can't be happy in death, but I'm sure if there's a possibility, he would be happy to see his prescriptions being impl Im implemented in a very thorough manner. Thank you to our sponsors, the Government of St. Lucia, the Bank of St. Lucia, Labry Cooperative Credit Union, Flow and DD Media Relations. Share our Facebook page at Nobel Laureate Festival St. Lucia with your family and friends on island and abroad. I'm Delia Delore. Goodbye.